Now it's not legal, but I mean, when we did it in our day, we did it right. We made sure you couldn't drive out of your driveway until we ran those two cars. We're trying to help you, keep you safe, and our, our, our guys safe, you know? So, <clears throat> you need to interview Big Wooly. 40 years ago, he was street racing. We were racing a Crenshaw and Stalker in Los Angeles. We pulled off drag strip races in the middle of the night on residential streets. Okay, talk to Big Wooly. He can tell you some history on street racing. He's up there in the booth right now. That's right, the Ford is coming up. He's pulling into the lights. 3,000, 3,000, the Ford is in the lights. All right, the Ford is off and running. Can he keep out front? The Drexler's coming up, coming up strong. The Ford is trying to hang in there. The Ford is trying to hang in there. The Drexler is leading. The Drexler takes it. Big Willie uh, Robinson ran the uh, the Brotherhood uh, Raceway, Terminal Island Raceway, over here in San Pedro. I'm Bernard Parks, 8th uh, District Council member, a former Chief of Police, City of Los Angeles. I've been in city service almost 40 years. I've known him for several years. Uh, in fact, uh, he has been a, almost a fixture in the city of L.A. for decades. And so I've known him a variety, variety of capacities. Always had an interest in the issue of uh, young people, uh, street racers, getting them off the city streets. And uh, that's been his uh, mantra for years. Officially, we do not sanction the streets anymore because, um, you know, this is our major project now. We feel that this place here, we can run every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's an M3 zone. We can run around the clock. And that way, the kids will, don't have any reason to be on the public streets. So what we've done, we'll transfer it from the public streets to a private street. This is our private street out here. Pounding pavement, pushing their project, the Brotherhood has gotten the green light from the police department, the city council, and Mayor Bradley. I think it's a great idea. It uh, provides not only an opportunity to uh, give these youngsters an outlet, but it helps build brotherhood. They are built upon the theme of, of brotherhood through street racing. Everybody understand that? Let me hear. Now, what we are trying to produce? All right. Blacks, whites, Chicanos, Orientals, Asians, any group, ethnic group, biker group, gang group are part of our organization. Our organization has lasted this many years because of the fact that we are built on the premise of brotherhood. It doesn't matter if you're black and you belong to the Crips or you're white and you belong to a neo-Nazi group. And there was never any problems over that brotherhood race. Right? When we used to go there, Never any fights, everybody got along. Big Willie was, you know, he, he, he did that right. You can cut through an awful lot of problems by finding a single unifying goal and modifying your car and going faster uh, is something that's common to everybody. And, and second of all, um, I think a lot of people, when they're doing something they enjoy, like racing their cars, they find it difficult to to remember what they were mad at. While we were open, crime in Los Angeles went down 60%. All of a sudden, there was no drive-by shootings anymore. The violence on the street drops. The last report we got was 60 to 65% of the crime rate drops. 80 to 85% of the racing stops. Keep a, pe a lot of people out of trouble, you know, because, you know, people can be on the street shooting and killing each other. But rather than that, we like to come here, you know, watch the races, watch the lowriders. Now it's all back up. It's back up. It's back to Murder City. If these fellows had a place to go race, which is what they've been advocating since day one, when they wanted to race, the street racing in Los Angeles would drop to practically nothing. So there's some things that have occurred since the closing of the track and uh, we saw a, a significant increase particularly in the valley of street racing and I think the new movies that came out uh, added to that hype. All together 11 times, open and close 11 times. I mean we'll be running for a year and then the heart department will come up with something. We'll be running for six months. One time we was running for one month. <laughs> so this is the second choice you know, and it's been sitting here. We're supposed to open this property eight years ago, and it's still sitting here. Uh, again, for the financial reasons, uh, to return to the harbor 
uh, is, is probably not a realistic view. Ever? Not ever. I, I think the issue that the uh, San Pedro and the Long Beach Harbor uh, combined, I believe, are the number one port in the world. So the likelihood of the city being able to uh, ever be in a position to uh, block off a portion of that precious land and allow it to uh, be used for a drag strip are highly unlikely. I know it's valuable land and maybe they have plans for it, but, but as we speak, the land is vacant and I can certainly tell you that while it sits there, the street racing doesn't stop. Red tape, red tape, red tape. The final judge to this is the boss of the universe. So they all got to stand before the boss. And since I've been out here, quite a few of the ones that have been fighting me, they've gone on. There's a few of them that have, they, they have stood before God and God probably told them, hey, you one of those commissioners that kept fighting Willie, huh? And that was my program. I want you to come out and enjoy and watch the number one program and bring in peace back to the streets. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Okay, Willie, thank you very much.